Bowser players know, like, they make the most, they capitalize on that fear that people have when they're, sh they're shielding in the corner, right? And being in cornered against Bowser is a terrible, terrible situation. Oh, I believe they're going on FD. FD, alright, uh, yeah, good choice for both players. Both your players can get something started on this stage. Um, but I think Game Watch actually benefits from the tri pass. But we'll see how Prof uh, manages to use uh, Game Watch. Definitely the edge guards with the bacon will be good. Yeah. Alright, yes, and the reflector, of course. How could I forget? One of the biggest advantages Game Watch has in this matchup is his ability to reflect the gyro, to reflect the laser. Um, and, or, sorry, to absorb the laser, I believe, because it's an energy based projectile. Oh, um, yeah. And the bucket, the true combos of Nair in the bucket will delete uh, Blind Stock, even as Rob. Yeah, that's right. And even if you're talking about gravity approaches, right? Um, you know, just like with that nair, that nair just sets up for so much, and that uh, and the armor that like, up here as well, and just that up there, you just really try to keep uh, blind in here, but blind is not gonna fall for it, and he add all the things that just make his way back to stage. Yes, we see we see a prof going for these nairs, um, going for nairs of his own. Both blind and prof want to get their nairs, their combo starters, um, on the on their opponent. Ooh, but the down smash, this is the ledge trapping that I was talking about, right? With bacon, the down smashes, and if you get down smash at the ledge, you are absolutely gone. Yeah, that's right, and then you can see, um, you know that up you just really try to be able to find the approaches, and I really like the use of that like, the and you notice know, that Prof is trying to try to gain um, space by dropping those bombs, right? Um, and then, like, Blind, I think he's aware of this, he's kind of, like, shielding, just using his stuff, like, 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 in the interaction that we saw just now. Yeah. But these up is very nice parry from Prof, and you know the up is into the up air, that's good, that's good damage, and it sets up Rob into a juggle situation, which is very, very nice for Prof. Right, yeah, but these back airs, like, the, the trick, uh, the, the question is, of course, how is Prof gonna get this kill? Because if he doesn't get it early with a down smash or, uh, an F smash, he needs to go for an edge guard just like that, with that the back air off stage. That right there. Yeah, these edge guards, like, he's chasing Rob all the way down there, and I mean, like, Rob can go so far with, he has so much fuel, but, like, Game Watch can go quite far as well. Oh! Dodges that up smash with a nicely time swap dodge right there. You know, everything, you know, just assume everything Game Watch does is safe. Unless it's down, unless it's a key, you know, falling key, not as safe as some people might believe. Even down smash is safe? Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, if you're asking about the safety of Game Watch smash attacks, I, I, uh, hate to break it to you, but, uh, they are decent, very, very safe on shield, unfortunately, for a lot of people who play against Game Watch. But luckily, for Prof right now, the, the down smashes, the F, or the up smashes are very, very safe on shield. And he's racking up so much damage right now, um, with these juggles, with the up airs, you know, the doot doots, and the, wow, the forward air explosion actually, uh, taking blind second stock. Oh, that was just a really down smash. Yeah, be up smash punish, no. Amazing mash right there from Prof. And not panic air dodging either. Uh, very, very nice. Manages to get out of the mash. Uh, gets out of the berry with an excellent mash. Yeah, look at look at Prof right now dropping the bomb, you know, trying to rack on that damage. He, he just needs to rack up as much damage as he can. But that key, like I said, the parry, he doesn't even need the parry. He just punishes it uh, with the up smash. Alright, but we're gonna see some game and more time with this up as um, with that there and with that back as it just um, the pressure blind and see how it's going to make it back. Yeah, but Prof keeps forcing the blind back into the corner using the bacon, the B reverse bacon, uh, to force blind back. And he's four there, dropping the bombs. Ah, uh, but yeah, SD from blind goes for the side B. Uh, I think he uh, mistakenly uh, went for the side uh, B yeah, instead of the up B. Yeah, yeah Prof takes game one with two stocks. I think the lead really built up, like after that first stock, right? Um, blind, our prof was able to tack on so much damage to blind second stock before blind could get that kill. Um, and the a very very quick mash, you know. So blind probably is thinking right now, okay, so there's like a huge mash coming out from prof, right? Like, um, do I what do I go for? Do I go for the up tilts? Do I go for the up airs? Do I go for the up smashes, right? Knowing that prof, like, um, probably won't start, uh, it won't start true comboing into an up smash until really really high percent of the okay. game. Damage. And I think we talked about this before, but like, how do you get that kill, right? Yeah. How do you get that kill as Rob? What do you do? And it, it looks like the answer right now, right, is the berries, right? Okay. So there, there's a lot of going be, there's gonna be a lot of counterplay from Prof around how what he does when he gets buried, right? Yeah. Game Watch doesn't exactly have the best approach of kill, which is why you saw Prof I think was kind of um, really short hopping and having his approach with bombs, right? Um, oh. and you can see, uh, Yeah, but stick sticking with the trusty Rob. Yeah, to try to beat up like um, Game of Watch's approaches, then his ground approach is a lot the best, and to try to make him use that right, he goes, throws to set up a combo, even like up throw into there, or just down throw into there. 
Yeah, it looks like we're going to small battlefield this time. Look, uh, blind's counter break, so he probably wants a platform, so he feels like he can shock under the platforms with up tilts, with up airs. And there we go. Nice little pick up, uh, up throw into the into four there. And oh, very nice tech chase on the platform with the gyro. He, he's he's playing more patient this time. He's waiting back. He doesn't want to get caught um into huge damage. Yep. Yeah. But again, the mash from Prof is insane. Excellent. Just being able to get himself all the way um, up to the front to make sure that Blind can't be needed to punish or something like an up air. But it looks like Blind is being rewarded for his more patient game plan, you know? He's not, he's not willy nilly approaching Prof. And he actually yeah. takes the first stock with a zero to death. Yeah. It wasn't even a crazy string, it was just amazing, like, neutral pickups. Of course, of course, yeah. Yeah, very, very good stuff from Blind. He's really adjusted his game plan in order to deal with the game and watch. Yeah. yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Is Prof able to adjust? Will Prof be able to bring it back? Alright, the Nair Strings, yes, the Nair Strings on the platform, you know, into the Nair, lead to so much damage with the extensions. Alright, but rolls right, blind rolls right into that bacon. And this is good damage from Prof. Oh, catches the air dodge with a grab. Oh, and but he just manages to miss, uh, you know, the fair punish. Nice delay on the up B, but then he's going to be able to Yeah, he's gonna get grabbed for that, unfortunately. The ops go high this time, very, very nice. While well, Prof is firing right back, he's only taken 38% on the second stock. If he, ooh, but that uh, that back air not quite safe. Blind gets his grabs again. Blind's so good at getting these grabs. Yeah, and I and I don't think they're trying to uh, notice that like Prof was just trying to land with those fairs, with those snares, like you can go on his shield, and it's just like okay, I'll just wait for that, um, and then after that, like I will use this option, right? But then you see now it's Prof's time to really just catch it and put it down, and it's not gonna quite um, seal off that stock. And mine is going to be knocked back with that laser. Ah, uh, but the lead trap up, oh, Prof doesn't quite get the roll in, the roll in weed. Alright, yeah, he wants that back here, you know. How, it, and again, like, the same question as before, how is he going to get this kill? The forward arrows are coming out, the bombs will kill, uh, Blind right now, will take his second, uh, take his first stock, but... Ah, uh, goes for these down smashes. Ooh, the key not being punished, that down there on the platform. Managing to avoid blind. Yeah, blind blind's up doesn't have to kill prop now, you know. He just needs to rack up the damage. He just That's needs to play it safe. Yeah. And look at him, you know, just, he's staying in the corner now, he's clicking the safe with the gyros. Yeah. Can prop get in? Yeah, the back will not kill. Oh, oh but that one will all the way out there right next to the blast zone. He really went all the way out there. Yeah. Both of these characters can go so so far out there. Alright, alright, you know they can run try to fight that down there and not letting him do that with that nair, right? Yeah, another roll from blind, but that this one is not punished from prof. Alright, how is he gonna make it back? The lead traps with the gyro. Alright, throws out the gyro. Ah, good grab, good grab. And the down throw up smash. Ah, no, but just goes straight for the up air and gets the kill off the berry. That mash is not fast enough at 130%. Uh, uh, you are getting up air. And the game of watch very, very light. You know, that up air just killed the uh, game of watch at like 130%. Of course. And now we can see here, uh, you know, just like Prof to try to find ways to approach with that there with that chef. Uh, and just covering space, but is that gonna be the big cut in from life? Not quite yet. Uh, but I just really like what both um, players are kind of doing, right? Where I think he knows that Prof is going to try to be a bit more easy, um, you know, like about approaching with those nares, and he's just trying to get around that, right? Yeah. Oh, we see, we see Prof going for the uh, for the judge, you know. I mean, the judge, you know, a, a nine, a very well placed nine, will get him right back into the game. Of so. course. But what are the odds of that happening, right? Well, one and nine, actually. <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not, according to my math, I believe it is one and nine. Well, actually, no, it's close to one and eight. Okay, we'll, we'll save the math discussion. Uh, get back to this. Uh, get back to the match where 81% on prof. Another down throw into the up tilt. Ah, but good match this time. Mixes up his timing because he does want to get hit by the up throw again. All right, all right. Yeah, we see the bacon. Prof is spacing much more with now with the bacon, you know. Uh, trying to rack up the damage before he can get this kill. A down smash, you know, an up smash, uh, will take the stock. If he can just get, if he can just get these weeds, but of course, blind is being so evasive, using the gyro to push back Prof. Yeah, and I think like that. Say, if you want to go for like a hard weed and you try to smash, you will just get punished. Yeah, uh, the berry. Yeah, the grabs. Yeah, the grabs from blind so so good. Um, burying into the up smash. You know, at that percent, it's hard to say. Uh, he looks like he was caught by the tail end of the up smash, so it might have been death. Um, no matter what he did. Um, if you don't mash, you know, you get caught by the initial part of the up smash. If you do mash, you might get caught by the tail end. That is true. And it is going to be... Where are we going to go? Game 3. Now, here's the question. Will we see Prof stick with the Game & Watch? Because the Game & Watch yeah. took the first match in, the, in a solid fashion. But now, um, Blind was able to really pick apart the Game & Watch. And, of course, we see the I counter picks begin. Prof on the young lane. For Game 3. How do you 
think this is going to switch up the situation. I think that the way Blind is playing now, right? He's playing very evasive, playing at the corner, right? Using gyros to space out. Actually, um, that's the same game plan that Prof probably has, right? With Young Link, right? Uh -huh. Young Link is completely comfortable playing at max distance. Um, so I, this is this is probably a very comfortable situation for Prof to be in. So let's see if Blind is able to pick it up. Maybe he will start to go in more, right? But even Young Link has a really good boxing option as well. Yeah, and I think Young Link is able to just like, go in a lot better, right? And it's, um, I think Heaven is going to be like a little bit more aggressive in these approaches because you can actually take these individuals. And you have all the projectors which all come out so quickly. Oh! Yeah, and look, we see Prof putting on 111% on Blind right now. Um, good use of, of the bombs at the ledge, the boomerang, the arrows, right? And these arrows, these boomerangs, um, they're not just for show. Like, they'll start leading into kills, right? A well-placed boomerang right on, on the shield is safe, and the boomerang leads into an up B or into an up air. Wow! Nice parry! Yeah, good parry from Blind right there. Parrying a multi-hit, very, very impressive stuff. And it was like the last hit of the multi-hit, not the hit that happened. Exactly, exactly. Ah, uh, but these up out of the shield from Prof, not quite working. Ah, but the reverse up actually sends Blind off stage. Ooh. Solid back air, meaty back air right there to send Young Link flying across the stage. Oh, but that, like I said, the boomerang right on the shield. Oh, the He's boomerang in the forehead. He is still alive. Rob is big. Rob is heavy. But he got just a catch it before he could then. make it back. Yes, he's on the ledge right now against Young Link. What is he gonna do? Alright, alright, back to neutral, back to neutral. Yeah, both, yeah, both players are kind of feeling each other out, yeah, trying to figure out their approach options. Yeah, you see Prof going for these boomerangs, so he knows you're safe, and that up smash, ooh, risky, risky up smash, he's gonna be punished by a 4 there. Nice, really Alright, yeah, these down tilts from Young Link, only min minus 10 on shield, so Young Link can absolutely spot dodge that, and that there, like I said, is, everything is so safe on Young Link. Yeah, that's right, and, and just with Brian, what I noticed is that he knows that Prof is just, uh, going to try to unleash some of those projectors and keep that jumping over, um, with that there, right? But then as soon as he's in the air, like, Young Link can just catch it, and the team can him so much of those, uh, four airs, um, you know, that can actually lead into a couple just oh, like that! yeah, the boomerang, again, the boomerang into four there, leading into a kill, yeah, Prof is so good at tacking on, like, these one-two combos with the, oh, but the up will be it. Alright, alright, blind on his last stock, Prof on his, on, he's still on two stocks. And like, look at the way the Prof is playing now. It's like a re uh, it's like a repeat of Blind from the from the second game. But he's able to get these uh, projectile plays comboing into his forwarders, into his nares, um, racking on the damage bit by bit. And those well placed bombs to be able to like pressure certain movement options because you don't want to get caught in the explosion. Um, and just nice catch of Blind's there because Nair just managed to get around the hit back inside the other people's um, up air. Yeah, Blind is taking so much straight damage from the boomerangs, from the arrows. Prof has barely even been touched yet, except by that gyro. Ah, oh, an excellent, excellent grab. Prof hasn't grabbed all game, and now that he knows that Blind is uh, conditioned to shield against projectiles, go, he starts going in for those grabs. Yeah, that's just like really good adaptation on his part, right? Yeah, and uh, once again, we see an excellent match from Prof, you know. Uh, yeah, just staying back with the flame arrows, just staying back with the boomerangs. Uh, he doesn't need, you know, they're so safe, he doesn't even, even if he misses, he doesn't need to do anything. And it really tends to stage. Mm, but Blind pushed all the way back to the corner. What's the lead trap? What's the lead trap? The bombs? Alright. Can Blind work his way out? Alright, alright, that's punish. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, the, no. the youngling up be so safe. Everything youngling does is safe. Honestly, it, it really does feel that way. Especially now that Blind cannot get a hit, a solid hit on Prof. They've just been trading projectiles for the last few minutes. Mmm, the down air, the down air. That down air will kill Rob on the platform for sure, for sure. He's up air sharking underneath the platform. Oh, that yeah. flame arrow would have comboed into an up air or a down air, but the four air just barely misses. Yeah, I think he's also trying to uh, realize that Blind will want to try to get to the air, right? Or maybe just for bed, he like just like jump up across him. And so because like, he's mm. missing stuff like just out throw. of range, the fourth throw is gonna do it. Fourth throw almost kills. Send him straight up into the top left corner. Alright, but it won't kill just yet. Ah, oh, but uh, an air dodge. He probably tried to shield and flash yeah. land on stage, but unfortunately, SDs. Um, uh, it's, it's tough, it's tough, SD in game 3, but you know, yeah. very solid showing from Prof. Able to adapt very, very well to yeah, Blind's gameplay. Yeah. Alright. Alright. In which case, we will take a short break as we go play our sets, and we'll send over our other commentators, Hartran and Anri, to in the meantime. Alright, stay tuned, folks.
Hello guys, we are back and right now we will be watching uh, I don't know who's on stream now <laughs> Set, set count. I'm not sure. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. V Union, who's this? Okay, uh, Sephiroth player. Right now. Losers, I think losers. These tags are very weird. I've never seen this before. Oh! oh. It's Prof versus Blind. You're saying, yeah, Prof versus Okay, Blind. okay. We might see uh, Bowser versus Rock match up here. Yeah. Slash Actually we played Game Watch, that's right. Game Watch is a super bad matchup against it's yeah. a super good matchup against Rob, I remember now. Yeah, you see Zomba complaining about about it all the time. Is it because of the I think I think it's because like Rob <laughs> just gets juggled forever by Game Watch. Game Watch is really good at juggling. And like oh, yeah, Rob is fake Sorry? Oh no, it's versus Vegan Farm Boy, okay, oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Bowser versus I don't know what it depends on what uh Slash wants to play. He can he can play Marv, Joker, or like Cloud, if he really wants to, I don't know. I don't know what he'll go, but like, I mean, he could go Marv. I don't think Marv. 